Um, I wish a final speaker for today, so thank you all so much for being so patient and attentive. Thank you so much to all of our amazing volunteer stewards and first aiders today, include, <laughs> including the wonderful Cole uh, and his Mary Poppins umbrella, who've given up their time today to make sure this protest could run as smoothly and safely as possible. Um, a huge thank you to, if he's still around, my friend Liam Tidy for building our, our staging today, which we can now use for future process going forward. Uh, thank you to Thomas Cuckle, who's once again generously donated the use of his PA system. Um, thank you to everyone who helped us to raise funds for our British Sign Language interpreters um, and raise money for the wonderful charity Deaf Rainbow UK. The interpreter funds will go towards our next protest. We apologise again that we weren't able to have our uh, interpreters here today. Finally, I'd like to pat myself on the back as well as the rest of the team at Trans Activism UK. I, the, in, in my defence, I didn't write the bit about patting myself on the back. <laughs> um, I'm Laura Kate Dale, and I work alongside Felix F. Fern, Shira Chowdhury, and Amelia de Cruz, who you've all seen today. We, we organise these protests under the name Trans Activism UK and we work hard to make sure these demonstrations happen and it's because you turned up that we can continue to fight with and for you. Um, a little birdie tells me there's going to be a very big Tory conference in the summer so keep an eye on our social media feeds and all the places. Um, and before we go I'd like to hand you off to Amelia who's been our amazing MC today. Why is this now scary? <laughs> Hi. I'm going to talk about myself for a sec because Laura said to. <laughs> um, I'm Amelia de Cruz. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. I'm absolutely bloody terrified. Um, but. I can use my phone actually. <laughs> okay. Enough pissing around. Yeah. Um, some of you may know me. When we do the charity streams, I tend to host those at times. So if you know me from that, hello again. Um, and this week, a little bit about today, just as a bit of a sign off. But um, essentially, the climate in the UK for trans and non binary people right now is very tough. We've earned the nickname Turf Island for a bloody good reason, unfortunately. But at the end of the day, we don't all have the privilege or opportunity to leave and this is the place that we are forced to call our home. We shouldn't have to feel unsafe in our own home, whether that's a house or an island. We shouldn't have to tolerate our own government sanctioned media treating us like predators and criminals. Even following, even following our Downing Street protests in August, I was publicly compared to a recently arrested as incestual predator by Graham Lennon, a, his, a man who has a history of working with the BBC. A man who has a history of working with the BBC and several other UK mainstream media outlets. What do you think I was shamed for? Of all things, wearing a Pokemon t shirt. I was made to feel like a disgusting criminal for enjoying a hobby that millions of others do worldwide without prejudice, which just goes to show how little we will be attacked for based solely on our gender identity. We've watched this happen time and time again with other marginalised groups throughout the decades and it has to stop. Our oppressors old cis heterosexual white men up in their ivory towers cannot just rinse and repeat the same tired narrative over and over. We deserve better than this. Trans is beautiful. Trans is culture, music, colour, vibrance, art, politics. We are your siblings, your children and your parents. Your teachers, your students, your neighbours, your clergy, and most of all, your community. We are drawing a line. We will not leave. We will not bow down. We will not be forced to succumb to hate. This ends today. Thank you.
Mike's put this down now. 